Irving's discussion for tonight is that uh, by con uh, in such what's the word? <laughs> what's the word of it? Unanimous consent. Unanimous consent. Is that in agreement? Sure. Okay. Is there any other changes or additions? But we will talk about like when we're going to do it and how yes. we're going to do it. Okay. Um, you had one to add. Oh, this is that's what it was referring to. Okay. Yeah. Is there any further changes? What was that? His is to add this one that we uh, deferred until Rosemary was here. Okay. <clears throat> Before you, and you do that, and then I leave. Because what I came to talk to you about probably that's the only space on the agenda that fits. So <clears throat> I'm going to be rude and interrupt and uh, just <clears throat> tell you that you have an ordinance here that you folks have passed and is now effective <clears throat> in the town. An ordinance to regulate dilapidated buildings and nuisance properties. Okay, we're well, you wonder, members of the public, then. Would that, that how, how far down that? How far down the list is that? Uh, like 715. Okay. PM. Hmm? PM. PM. <laughs> no special treatment. <laughs> okay. Hearing any other items? If not, are we prepared to approve the meeting minutes of July 13th and 19th? So moved. Motion, do we have a second? Second. Second, any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Rosemary, you get the floor. Okay, the only thing I have is that Peter Taxwood interest and penalty issue and the um, highway note for the new um, payment truck, which is under Brian's work. Peter Taxwood states that he placed his tax check in the drop box on um, the due date, and we have not received it. That check. Um, we got a notice from Ann saying we hadn't received it and he um, paid the tax amount, not the penalties of interest. And the penalties and interest come up to $53.12. She's asking for the board to wait. And he also indicates the check was not cashed. Yeah, his first check. Have you seen a copy of the first check? No. Have we ever had a check or a payment not uh, make it through the drop box? Over the years, you know, every once in a while somebody has paid electrical water and floor bill. But sometimes they open their checkbook up and there it sits. And sometimes people put in the, especially the one on the doors that are set to, they mm -hmm. put it in the inbox that doesn't go down through. Sometimes we see them there. We always usually check that in the morning to make sure there's nothing there. You find them eventually if they're there. Yeah, if they're there, we find them. You do check those boxes. Twice a day. Yeah, twice a day at the end of the business day. So we believe beyond any reasonable doubt that the check never came in this office. Okay. And he's asking uh, the $448. No, the $53.12. Okay. Okay, what's more the pleasure? I think our, as approved by the voters every year, is pretty clear on what the fines and penalties will be. If there's no action by the board, I'm taking that as a denying request. Please notify me of the request for the money. 
Anything else? This is the highway truck dump, which is under Brian's report. Okay, so we'll get to that later in his report. Anybody got any questions for Rosemary? Quick question for Rosemary and Brian. Um, the timesheets, looking at them, uh, they're all signed off by the supervisor. Um, but I just, if I could request some of the signatures, I do recognize some of them don't. If the signature is on um, unreadable, unreadable, it could just have a printout or like a printer name next to it. So that uh, okay. we know who signed off on the okay. We can track to that. Thanks. Any other further questions for Rosemary? Seeing none. Thank you. Okay, Dave, you got the floor. I've done it. Thank you very much. <clears throat> uh, said before, I don't know where you all familiar with the oh, yeah. servants. Well, at that time, I've been harassed. Former board member really uh, pushed that hard. The, uh, my interest derives from the fact, and I, I hope this is coincidence and not causation, but uh, the very first house that Peggy and I lived in was a couple of uh, houses down the street. It's been burned out and unoccupied for some period of time. Uh, we then moved to the kind of the inner suburbs by moving over to Stern Street. And now I count three buildings on that street that are, uh, I think, fit very nicely within the definition of a dilapidated and useless property. And I, you know, I, I spoke briefly with Brian about my, I think, more interest and concern uh, that, uh, that there are places that this ordinance applies to and uh, a curious as to you know what process you think you're going to use to implement this um, and to you know offer whatever help I can not as a lawyer but just a community member to, uh, to make this go. I mean, it, it appears to me that uh, uh, Public health officer is the principal uh, implementer, if you would, of this. And I don't know whether that person or person has been advised, you know, is this part of your portfolio or whether this is awaiting some further regulations on how the thing gets enforced. So, where, where is the case? Question. Very good question. Uh, probably not a very good answer. <laughs> we don't have an answer. Yeah. Uh, you're absolutely right. All the buildings you identified, I would concur, are ones that would fall under that ordinance. Uh, we did put a lot of time and effort into writing the ordinance, and it has become more of an enforcement issue who will enforce it and, and uh, giving them the tools. Uh, and beyond that, about as far as I can go with it, uh, we, we sort of fallen down uh, and, and not enforcing it to the, to the level that we should. Well, it's, um, it's I guess uh, all I can do is ask the request that. Uh, you know, you get in touch with uh, the person who is going to serve, or persons who are going to serve as uh, the inspection official, I guess is the term for this. And then um, start moving on at least, at least one of these properties. And I know that there's some talk about the, the building that's actually part of the river. <laughs> Up here, and that the state may become involved with that, but the state's not going to be involved in those two buildings that are closer to town, not going to be involved in this area. So, that's a courteous request. Look for board members' comments, thoughts. 
We've been lax in our duties, unfortunately. Well, I don't, you know, I don't want to cast it as being that. No, we are. Uh, but whenever you get something that's new like this, and it hasn't been done before, um, it, it, it takes an effort to figure out how you implement it. And that's not, you found easy people have to know to do uh, without shoveling this. You know, on your plate as well, but at some point, uh, somebody has to say, Please let's, uh, let's move. Yeah. Okay. No. I think it's her. That's um, all I have to say, and uh, I will trouble you no further. And part of a, a line item for tonight was projects and priorities. I got a feeling that's going to rise to some level of being a right. I saw that. In the agenda, and then when I heard the motion to kind of move it out of the agenda, I, was <laughs> I appreciate you getting that. Yeah. Thank you, Dave, for coming. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. You don't, you don't have to leave. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a luxury that I didn't have when I was on the school board, but I got it now. Yeah, you do. You know. That was a nice evening. Thank you. Uh, we're other members of the public. Do you have anything, or are you just here? Uh, uh, I just here. I guess one question I have on that would be who pays for the care down and stuff? Is that in the bylaws? Uh, you know, these people are going to abandon the property. They certainly aren't going to pay the care down, do an asbestos survey, a light survey. It's on the issue. You're right. Some of those are going to be difficult because they will not. Be anybody be able to pay for you know, that? Yeah. Was a technical issue. <clears throat> and then the intent was to force the landlord to uh, you know, clean up the property, remove it, whatever. Yep, nothing's ever easy. Okay, uh, with that, Brian, you want to get into your report? Sure. So the first up is the uh, maintenance decision about the town assessor. Uh, we've had two proposals, uh, and I am recommending that we would assign the job to Terry Sable. Okay, and the board's had the opportunity to review both proposals. What is the board's pleasure? Evan, do you want to speak? I need to recuse myself. Okay. Let the record reflect that Evan will be recusing himself. So, the only thing that does look like a better proposal, I just don't see uh, the costs quoted in this proposal compared. Uh, it might have been in a supplement, uh, but it is. It was, and it took an email to make it in just the PDFs. Mm -hmm. Give me one moment to pull up the email itself. I agree with Brian also that I do so moving. The wording is motion to that we appoint Terry Stevens or hire hire Terry uh, from a municipal van maintenance LLC. Yep. Uh, 
That's our town assessment. We've got a motion to hire Jerry Stevens. We have a second. Motion and second. Any more discussion? So there's some things that are this is unlike what has happened previously. This is not going to be a rolling appraisal. So no. we find the appraisal fund and then she's not going to be going out into the community to look at buildings and see what's being built. Right. So we do have some this is this doesn't solve all of the tasks that we need, but this will meet our statutory obligation okay. and our immediate need for. Grand listing. So, what will we need to do to satisfy uh, going out and viewing properties and that sort of thing? We're going to be working on that in the future. That is something that uh, we might even contract with uh, the other proposal, the Spencer for, mm -hmm. uh, for just field work. Uh, the other thing that I'm hoping for is that Terry is interested in. Expanding her business and uh, bringing on some new hires, at which point that might be a task that we can ask them to do once she has more help. Uh, but that's not part of her current proposal. Uh, the second part is about reappraisal. We will, in the near future, have to make a decision about whether we're doing a rolling reappraisal or a more periodic appraisal, uh, reappraisal. Um, and we've also got the option of um, uh, a statistical reappraisal that we can make within the next couple of years, and that would still be fairly accurate to our, mm -hmm. our situation. A uh, statistical reappraisal is rather than going out and inspecting new buildings, uh, applying a st statistical model based on the sale of buildings to the inspection that we just completed. It's a pretty solid method of making an update to the grant list. If your physical inspection was pretty recent and ours was. Yeah, we've done that before in the past. Yeah, yeah it would help keep our, uh, so our CLA, our common level assessment at a reasonable point uh, and our accuracy at a reasonable point for a very, very economical price to be completed. But we should be ready to go 100 percent right now. Yes. Just completing the reappraisal. With under normal circumstances, it would be very good or a little bit worse than that because uh, home price sales have been really out of whack. Um, so we're not as we're not as good as we'd be in a normal year given our distance from right. just having completed a, a reappraisal. It, I also read in her uh, application that she's very willing to provide training. Yes. Is there any capacity for in-house or should we give thought to hiring somebody in town? We should give thought to hiring somebody. A great option for us uh, would be if we can hire somebody and share them with a couple other towns. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this is, uh, I, I know that's actually something Terry's going to be doing is going out to a few uh, colleges and the community college and plugging this as a career. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, we are not the only town who has a real, has had a great deal of difficulty in hiring somebody. You know, we're just signing a contract to pay somebody $55 an hour to do this. Um, Somebody willing to come in and do the job. This could be a, a very high paying job. Somebody with uh, relatively little requirements. Um, if anybody in the public is interested, you want to take a look <coughs> at uh, what is the name of that certification? You want to become. Uh, Vermont Property Appraiser, uh, VPA3 is the level you're going for. Um, but even getting VPA1 or VPA2 will qualify you for a number of high paying jobs, both in Johnson and another. It is a great career path for somebody who has desperate need. 
Terry's rate's going to be $55 an hour with no uh, base salary like the other individual, right? It's just going to, you know, bill us 55. It's going to be the same deal for mileage, only it's going to be from Milton versus Wastefield. So yeah, that's going to be the same. Yep. Uh, Terry will probably not be in the office every week. Right. Uh, she doesn't need to be in the office every week. We need to have some office hours because we have a lot of residents who don't want to use email and phone calls and, and other things, but uh, it won't be the same number of office hours that we got from uh, Robin when she was here. Robin just preferred to work out of the office than work out of her home. Anyway, uh, Terry, you should consider what you do. Any further discussion? All those in favor, seem to have the same right. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye, seven. Uh, proposed letter of interest for the rent. Yeah. All right. So the other handout you got is starts at the top of VORAC two year grants info for select board. So this is, and you also in the packet got a map that corresponds to it. So starting earlier this year, we had made a few proposals uh, to our congressional representatives. You know, Welch's office, uh, Sanders and Lakey, they're both a little bit each time, but it was in general pursuit for improvements to um, Old Mill Park and Kind of that environment and also uh, one of the relatively high priorities that we identified at a, a, a meeting uh, about making our first application there was the bridge between uh, the skate park area and the old mill park um, and we haven't been successful with the uh, requests for earmarks yeah, uh, there's still a little bit of interest, but uh, hasn't really gone anywhere. So I'm not really expecting it uh, from the Sanders office. But right now we have an opportunity with VORAC, which is Vermont, Vermont Outdoor Recreation Economic Coalition wow. Collaborative. No. I don't remember which coalition or well. Uh, but VORAC is, uh, has a, quite a bit of money to hand out for a competitive grant. It's gonna be a pretty stiff competition, but we think that using basically the same model that we put out uh, would be successful. Some of the highlights in it are, you know, number one being the, the bridge that we had identified before, uh, working on the bike trails uh, for the backside of the Tatro property. Um, some improvements around the general improvements of Old Mill Park and a feasibility study for electrification. I think it has one of our kind of wish list items. And um, uh, the, the Holmes Meadow uh, uh, as part of a general expansion and uh, flood conservation. We're still in process on this, but at this stage, uh, what we'll be submitting is a letter of interest. But this is a pretty competitive grant. It's gonna take a decent amount of time to prepare the letter of interest and prepare the grant application itself. If, our, uh, if we make it to the second stage, which I think is very likely for us. Uh, the good news is, is it's a big grant. Uh, some local money and local matching makes it more competitive, but it is required. So we can leverage whatever we can leverage, but uh, it isn't, isn't necessarily uh, needed. And we can use a lot of the studies and the work we've already put in and in kind contributions uh, to help bring up our investment in the project and demonstrate our interest in continued uh, investment in outdoor recreation. Um, and the last big part I want to mention about our proposal is uh, 
It does include a little bit of administrative time, uh, but it also includes an ability for a or a, a classification for a project menu. Uh, and that would allow us to uh, expand Lisa's hours to work on and oversee these projects. She's open to that? She is. So all you need tonight is from the board of the weather menu. Uh, we're not even, we don't even have the letter of interest finished yet. It's mm -hmm. just that this, Preparing this grant is enough of an investment that if the board isn't interested, um, we shouldn't even spend our time. You know, we should stop now before, before we invest. I mean, Casey, you and Lisa have invested quite a bit of time to get us this far. Um, you know, it, it's, I think we've got a good shot. You know, we're a good fit to the program. We've got a, a good, set of projects that are all interrelated uh, that fit well with their mission um, and their projects we've been working on for a while so it shows a good demonstration of our our level uh, i think we're very competitive so when you say a lot of time what are you talking about? well just getting doing some research on the online Notes and such like that. Not not a whole lot, really. Maybe like twenty hours, something like that, twenty five hours to get this point. But probably didn't have to cut into Brian at least time too much. Um, yeah. Sort of working like a field. Right. Um, but yeah, it, this has such a good characteristic. You know, with no match, big pot. They acknowledge in time the value of in time. Etc. They're looking for partnerships. They have some very clear criteria, uh, but there's more. There's two more info sessions, training sessions, write the letter, whatever, uh, interest. Um, <clears throat> once tomorrow, uh, then there's another one next week. Um, because there's some, there are some questions about exactly what improvements they would like. To that they would support and one of the things they might not. Um, so, but our thought was, let's get this in front of you guys. And if, if the lights are used yellow, we, we would certainly need an answer of, you know, yes, go ahead and submit it next, next time. What's the consensus of the board? Sounds good. That actually reminds me that we've got a break here for a minute. Uh, a big part of this grant, and one of the things that uh, makes us competitive is uh, they're very interested in partnerships that the town can do with different organizations. And we're going to gonna expect some talks to Jenna's promise uh, about that, that you know, the work we've done before, some testimonials about partnerships we've done before on that and hopefully we can once we've got more to show on this we there might be some interest that it will promise in, in this just as a, a support not a monetary contribution um, and we'll be looking for the same from NBU uh, we'll talk to the studio center we've got a lot of good organizations that we've worked with on a variety of other projects uh, where we were supporting them, that now we'll be looking for their support for one of ours. But we think that we've developed kind of our support network to a point where we can uh, we really draw a lot of strength from that for making this more competitive. I think that's one thing that will really push us over the edge. I think Larry was a bit nice to Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll do all the yeah. So right here, right here, right here you're saying it's going to support us at the level of support. Not quite, but let's sort of see. Yeah. Or they were there and do whatever they can. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think there's, I think there will be genuine interest in him. I don't think it will be uh, forced. Yeah. 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 Y
Yeah, so I um, think it sounds great at the start, but, and my hesitation is we haven't talked about therapies at all. And if we're talking about a significant investment in time, we're talking, again, we have our blinders on, we're talking about a single subject. And I don't think it is wise of us to talk about a single subject without having a priorities discussion. Um, I get it's a lot of money, and I get it's a great opportunity, but we have lots of there's plenty of stuff there. It is time sensitive in that it's due in uh, November, so that's three months away. I think they're looking for our interest, uh, so they know the classes. Well, the letter of interest is due at the end of the month. Okay. At your next meeting, we want to get us all agreed for the. Okay. The letter of interest in the that was fine. It doesn't, this one is, is complicated enough that it's, uh, I, I, I felt that it was worth bringing to the board early. Uh, no, it's not going to be a huge amount of our time, but. How much time are you going to spend? Money? I'll probably spend another two or three hours between now and the end of the month. Mostly Lisa, right? It's mostly Lisa and Casey. Okay. We don't pay Casey. So, yeah, so I mean, if it's about the letter of interest, I say, why not submit a letter of interest for me? Um, but if we're talking about anything, any investment beyond that, I do think you need to understand where you should be spending your time, uh, Ryan, very specifically, because if we have other priorities that we deem higher, then this would not be a good use of your time to follow the letter. Yeah. Kind of my view. I was trying to see if it was on our priority list because I know we've had this discussion numerous times on it. It would be nice to have a bridge, but it looks like it was just an honor. Yeah, I don't think we had identified the specific our products. Is, is there anyone who has uh, reservations about giving them at least the yellow light to uh, pursue it and come back to us? Certainly not. Okay. okay. I guess you got the yellow light anyhow. Thanks. Thanks, girl. Um, uh, sure. You know, they do have grants for grant writers. We, we have them for Dennis Thomas. We get quite to this grant right here. I think they're coming right now. Later. Uh, you can get grants for grant writers, which I would suggest maybe you start looking at sooner than later. And then you may take some of the heat out, Brian, whoever else is working on it. Yeah. It's really well for us. Yeah. And this might be a project for the planning commission. Uh, LCPC would be another good one. Yeah. Um, I think that in this case, my time probably wouldn't change that much uh, because it, I don't. I'm not going to invest a lot of my time in this project, regardless of who's doing the actual writing. Yeah. You know, I might invest a little bit more time of my time, at least, in writing it. Uh, because there's a good return on investment to helping Lisa with grant writing and these other things because we get that back on future projects. Um, but either way, it's not a lot of my um, wherever we sign in. Casey and Lisa have been doing a great job with that, but you know, some extra assistance would be useful. Well, the lead has read and you could apply it to the UC. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. something you'd be interested in helping them. I can't speak to the whole board. But, you know, okay. I don't have a favor. <laughs> we do have some options. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So go forward and bring us home the banking. All right. Uh, next up, uh, the financing agreement for the new campus. Uh, Rosemary, do you have that? Yep. Um, the Union Bank is five years at 1.99% interest. We have the yeah. highway equipment note and the uh, resolution 
equipment, heavy um, equipment firearm. And we have a tax certificate. So this is to replace the International 7600. Uh, this one was, uh, let me see, if I remember the whole story, this one was due for replacement uh, last year, uh, but we had to replace the smaller uh, salt truck early. So we had um, moved our replacement schedule around a little bit to get it to all fit within our, uh, our, our highway reserve fund last year. Uh, so we had placed the order on it. That we, have, we had scheduled it a little over a year ago. About a year ago, we placed the order on it. It's finally ready for, almost ready for delivery. Um, we probably technically don't need a motion because this is something we already voted on, approved, and approved to go financing. But we probably should vote. Yes. To take out this loan of the Union Bank. I guess I would entertain a motion authorizing. Uh, Hundred and sixty eight thousand dollars more. Move, Mr. Chairman. Good motion. You have a second. 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 Discussion. Seeing none. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Oh. Okay. Uh, we have two items of executive session and then a possible action on the item at the very end. All right. So the, the next up was the projects and priorities. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry, I missed that. Yeah, I'll already spend a little bit of time. Yes, we did. Yeah. Very good. That was it. <laughs> so, uh, the first thing I want to establish with this is um, when we're going to return to it. Um, and then I think we could probably handle these and all the rest of it. Um, uh, through, through other discussions. But um, uh, what when do we want to return to this? Do we want to try and have a dedicated meeting for this, or do we want to uh, try this at our, our next, the, the first meeting in September? What's for the pleasure? This was, this was a dedicated meeting the first time we ran through it. I feel like dedicating it another meeting in August is probably the first day. I agree. I think it's probably the, so are we not meeting for the first Labor Monday in September? First Monday? Well, no, Labor Day. So yeah, we will probably want to have a discussion on that. If we could have tonight or we could have a tonight meeting about whether we meet on Tuesday or whether we scrap that. Uh, usually we meet on just the following Tuesday. Uh, for the 4th of July, we decided to scrap the meeting, but that's not typical. Um, so if we're scheduling an extra meeting for this, that was kind of the consensus that was, that was here in the board. Um, uh, let's see if I can get the use calendar. Is that some thoughts, Matt? Yeah, I want to change the subject if we're looking for a date. Yeah, that was what I was trying to do first. What you thought? Oh, okay. Um, I'll go ahead then. Um, my thoughts are that this um, 
in terms of process, this list, uh, I think, is the start of an idea to keep better track of our priorities and the things that we need to the things that we want to do as a board. Um, but it's obviously very um, basic. Um, and I think that it's it's sort of a, a first step at something, but I think that we can um, develop the process so that it's, it works better and that it's, it's, it's more helpful to us. So that's why I'm just throwing that out there. That people have ideas in terms of how we can make this better. Um, I think that uh, I think we should take any type of tasks off this list. And there are a whole bunch of things that are tasks that we have to do. And we should put tasks on top of We should tasks are like we're gonna we're serious about committee planning goals, then we should have a calendar for the year and decide whether we're doing it once a year, twice a year, or less, and then put a, put a date on it right away and get it off this project list. That's not a project list now. And I think if you just keep going through the list and like talking about what is a project versus what is a task. And then for the projects, um, I think we need to I think we probably just need to get them all on. We need to do an exercise where we get them all out on a board, physical, virtual, whatever, and everyone puts their dot on what's the most important to them. And you can add anything. So this is the list we start with, or not. Maybe we can choose not to put any of these on the board. Maybe some of these don't end up on the board at all. But whatever is important to any one of us on, on our select board. Put it up on a board, and then after we have everything on a board, we each get 10 dots, and we can put all 10 of those dots on one item if that's what matters to you. And if you choose to break them up, you can break them up. You can wait your, if we have gravel pit planning, if you, you know, choose your 10 dots now, and you want to put five of your 10 dots on gravel, gravel pit planning, go for it. And then that's how we do and prioritize what we have for our project list. Anything without a dot on it, we don't talk about. It's not here to come to our priority list yet. Well, it's similar to how we did last time, actually. It is similar. I don't know if we did the dot assignment. But no, we, did. we didn't. We, we tried to do something similar. Uh, the stickies and... But I think that that's a. I'm trying to look at it in another way. I think that's a really good suggestion. Um, I'd be happy to, to kind of facilitate it. Did you come up on the date, Brian? Uh, the thirtieth works for me. Uh, that would be the uh, last Monday in August, uh, the twenty third. 23rd, we also don't have any conflicts. Um, the trustees don't meet on the fourth. No. Are they back to one meeting a month? Yes, the, 20th, the 23rd and the 30th, there are not conflicting meetings. Um, I will not be in town on the 23rd. Okay, then we go to the 30th. So does the 30th work for everyone? Sure. Yeah. Want to do a uh, five o'clock with pizza and or regular seven o'clock? As long as it's high quality pizza. <laughs> Mike will pick it up. <laughs> well, let's get the best pizza there. Parks. I thought we do six and we could talk. <laughs> yeah, like five. Good five. I think it's probably going to be even harder to get, but if we do six o'clock, we probably can get some pizza from the, uh, the other. Okay, let's tentatively put it in for six o'clock on the 30th. Let's try to have some food. And maybe if anybody has any further thoughts on the process. 
Uh, if you wouldn't mind writing down some of your sure. what your thoughts are on the process, kick it off. Okay, any more discussion on that? Projects and priorities. Um, so since it came up, which is not an exact agenda, not exactly projects and priorities, but should we be talking about the September meeting? Like the Labor Day conference? Yes. It's an opportunity to talk about it. Um, Meet on Labor Day. We haven't had technical difficulties. So we um, So I think we're going to seven. So why don't we move it to Tuesday the seventh? That works for everyone. Okay. Tuesday the seventh. Okay. We now have two executive session items coming up. Uh, possible action items following that. But before we go into executive session, is there anything anybody else wanted to address the board with? Okay. Yeah, the Browns open house on the 14th. Everybody's off. Thank you for the invite. Thank you, Greg. I would at this point entertain a motion to enter into executive session. Discussion on travel. I move to enter into executive session. You will see me on the calendar with that as well, but on PSA 315. Okay, with motion, we have second. Second. Motion is second. Any discussion? All those in favor, please by the same aye. Aye. Opposed, still at the 750 in the executive session. Go to the executive session at 8 11. I'm going to entertain a motion to enter into executive session for evaluation of personnel. So moved. As allowed by one PSA 31383. Motion, do we have a second? Second. Motion is second. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? You guys have it. Show us in the executive session at 8 13. Show us out of executive session at 9.24. Last item on the agenda, compensation for public work supervisor. For a motion. Should this be said, uh, what type of supervisor this is? That's yes. temporary supervisor. In your motion, you should. I, I make the motion that we give our Temporary public work supervisor, a raise of $140 a week while he's doing those duties. Okay, we have a motion for the uh, acting public work supervisor to be given $140 a week. Stipend, and we have a second. Second. Any more discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor, signify saying aye. 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 And any opposed? Motion carries. Is there any other business before the board? If not, we stand adjourned at 925.